Well, hello there. And what are you doing? Well, I mean I can see what you're doing. You're floating in the middle of the sea, obviously. I just thought it was a little strange. Hmm? Wouldn't a human like you drown? Eventually, anyway. Hmm. I know you humans really can't swim for too long and well. The nearest shore is quite far away. And I've never seen a human with gills. So I'm pretty sure you would drown. Hmm. Mm hmm. You look like you're going to drown out here to me, or die of dehydration, maybe. And there's that too. Or there's also sharks. Hmm. Sure, I can help you. Here, cling onto me. <laughs> there we go. I am a very good swimmer, so you don't have to worry. I am a mermaid after all. I can swim more easily than you humans can even walk. At least I think. I don't exactly walk, so I'm a little out of my depth here when talking about that. But speaking of depth. Here's a fun fact, human. From here, it's about mm, three kilometers to the sea floor. And that's very deep, isn't it? Oh, you don't look like you found that fact fun. Matter of fact, you don't look like you're having much fun at all. You're even shivering. Are you cold? Do you have hypothermia? Is the water that cold to you? It's, well, it's not cold for me at all. Or is there another reason you are shaking? Are you scared of me? Hmm? Is that why you're shaking? Hmm? If you're cold, then cling on to me tighter, because I am warm. But if you are shaking because you're scared, then... Well, why would you be scared of me? You humans are always so scared of me. The sailors always have such pale faces when they see me. I just wanted to say hello, but they always sail away, and I don't mean any harm. I'm not a siren. I can't even sing. I'm so sick and tired of it. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going to eat you or anything like that, so why are you all always so terrified? Hmm? Hmm, but if you're scared of me, then I can understand if you want to be away from me. If you're scared of me, then I can leave you alone. I can leave you alone in the middle of the sea, all by yourself. Are you scared of me? Would you like that? Right, of course, there's no way you would be afraid of little old me. I saved you after all. <laughs> that settles it. You're just shaking because you're a little cold is all. So, like I said, Cling to me more. It'll help you keep warm. <laughs> mm. 
but this is really so refreshing. I have never met a human who wasn't afraid of me. <laughs> I think the people around here must only know of sirens, though you must be an exception, obviously. I'm so glad I saved you. <laughs> Say, how did you end up in the middle of the sea all by yourself anyway? Usually, you humans will have, you know, a boat. Oh, a mutiny. How very delicious. Oh, then I'll assume that's how you got that cut. It's still bleeding a little and I'd love to help, but, well, <laughs> there's not much I can do for you out here. I'll just have to get you to land as soon as possible. The blood might attract predators. But don't worry, I'm a fast swimmer. That's a good thing for you. <laughs> that I'm not a predator, I mean. <laughs> but you poor thing. I can't believe they threw you overboard like that. That was oh, so cruel of them. But hey, I know how cruel humans can be. They don't even want to get close to me. Not like you, of course. You're clinging to me so tightly. I'll admit, I love it. No one has ever clung to me like this before. Not any human, not even any mermaid. We aren't very social creatures, to be completely honest, but this is really just so lovely. I've never felt so needed like this before. I just can't begin to explain how good it feels. <laughs> you need me so badly. You're stranded in the middle of the sea. You can't swim very well, especially not with that cut which is going to attract sharks and who knows what else. And it could be infected for all we know. You're lucky. I have a bit of medical knowledge. You need me for that too. And even if you could swim and you had all the energy, you're completely lost, aren't you? <laughs> But I know where to go. You can rely on me. All you need to do is rely on me. <laughs> I honestly love this feeling of being relied on. I think I want to feel like this all of the time. And so you know what? I think I will. I think I'll keep you. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm going to keep you. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm moving a little fast here. I mean, I haven't even told you my name yet. And... I don't even know yours, but that's okay. What's important is that you are mine. <laughs> as long as you're mine, I will take care of you. And I'll get you out of the water. I'll get you onto this little island nearby. Well, to be honest, it's so small, I'm not even sure if it qualifies as an island. But it'll be better for you there. Hmm? Oh, mm, there isn't enough food there to support you, but that's okay. I'll hunt for you. I'll bring you all of your food. 
that way you can rely on me and need me even more you'll just have to see me every day if you want your food you'll never be able to go without me <laughs> I love it I love mm, just thinking about it you'll be truly mine and I think you'll enjoy being mine I will be taking good care of you after all and since hmm since you're mine maybe I should even give you a name oh wouldn't that just be the cutest thing ever oh we could think of one together oh. and what's with that look you're looking at me like I'm a monster I already told you I'm not a siren and I'm definitely not a monster is it the name thing you can keep your old name if you like <laughs> see how nice I am to you I saved your very life after all more than a siren I'm like a saint <laughs> So, why are you looking at me like a monster? And that can't be right. I saved you, so I'm sure you must love me, right? Oh, you have to love me. I've been so lonely, the sailors don't even say hello. And there aren't even that many mermaids, you know. And the ones I do find aren't particularly friendly either you're the only one who's ever needed me <sighs> if you hate me then you can leave me at any time I can leave you here right now would you like that but I know you don't hate me right I'm sure you love me because I'm the only one who can care for you. So, tell me. Do you hate me? Or do you love me? Hmm? <clears throat> That's right. Of course you love me. You couldn't even think of hating me. I haven't done anything wrong after all. Quite the contrary, if anything. I've done everything right. I'm taking you to safety. I'm going to tend to your wounds. I'm going to feed you. And I'll even give you lots and lots of love. You're pretty lucky actually. Not all of us can be fortunate enough to be loved. I, of all people, should know that. You know me, big scary monster. <laughs> but it's fine, you don't have to worry about anything anymore, thanks to me. All your worries will go away and our future together will be complete. You know the island I'm taking you to doesn't even have a name. Maybe we should give it one. And to celebrate our romance, of course, we could call it... Hmm, Love Lagoon or Destiny Island or hmm, something. I'm, Actually, pretty embarrassed thinking about giving it sappy names like that, but oh, I just love you so much. So I want to commemorate our love, even if it's sappy. Well, of course I do. I love you, and I love thinking about our future together, like... Mmm, all the food I'll be feeding you. Ooh, 
I wonder what you'd like to eat. Do you like octopus? Tuna? How do you feel about eels or mm, seaweed? I can get you whatever you want, sweetheart. All to make you happy being mine. <laughs> you know I've never had to feed anyone else before. No one would care if I didn't hunt for them. But now... Well... You'd starve without me now. It makes me... Very happy. It makes me feel like... I have a place in life. And that's what you've given me, so thank you. Thank you for loving me. Of course I know you love me. You cling to me like I am your only hope in the world. Well, I guess I really am your only hope in the world, though. After all, you'll have to depends on me, remember? But still, it's lovely. You are lovely. <laughs> you know, I can't even remember the last time I ever touched someone. When was it? Who was it? It, it must have been my mother a long time ago, I think. But that's not important. Now I finally have you. I have you all to myself and even when we get to the island. I'll still be able to enjoy you clinging to me. <laughs> we can still hug later even after we get to the island, right? I'm saving you from drowning out here. I'm saving you from all the predators that are probably tracking the scent of your blood right now. I'm saving you from exhausting yourself out here in the water. To the point that you wouldn't even be able to put up a fight. Even against the most pathetic predator. So, the least you can do is be a good little human and hug me, don't you think? Of course, of course you'll be hugging me. You love me after all. <laughs> because you are all.